Hi guys, welcome back to another For Copious video. Today I'm in Fayetteville, Texas. If you don't know where it is, don't feel bad because I don't think anyone does, honestly. It's just where my grandparents live and yeah, maybe I shouldn't say that. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to Utah in a few days, but I wanted to squeeze in one more video before the Utah Vegas vlog comes out because we're going to both. And so yeah, we're going to a major, major, major garage sale tomorrow. And I've been obsessed with um, Sandy and Jared going to garage sales. Oh. Anyway, sorry. Like I was saying, I'll put up Jared and Sandy on the screen. I love them so much. And they've been doing a little garage sale series where they've been going to garage sales and haggling. And I really wanted to bring y'all so you can see me try to haggle with someone because that is so outside of my comfort zone. I literally hate the idea of it and I wanna do it for that very reason. So yeah, I'm gonna take y'all on a garage sale hunt. Ooh, look at the nails, look at the nails. And also we're going to thrifting at my favorite thrift store in the world, which is called Second Chance. And it's only, it's the only thrift store out here in this like middle of nowhere area. And it is the best thrift store and it is cheaper than Savers and it has good, shit in it and that never happens to me so yeah i'll see you guys in a second actually because i have something else to say this is hannah worker barley coming live to you to serve comfort. oh she's a server and she sure she serves comfort. I, I literally let my grandparents talk me into working today working an event i'm praying to god that they tip like, cause that will be the only thing that makes this worth it if I get tips, because if I get no tips, guess how much I make? $50. That's actually not that bad. <laughs> For three hours, it's not that bad even. But I'm gonna see y'all in a few hours and I'm gonna tell you if it was worth it working or if I'm gonna be just in utter distress. Who knows? So I'm gonna see you guys in like four hours and I'm gonna let, let you in on the scoop to see if it's been a ride. Yep. So. So. Hey guys, just want to say that I may or may not have $300 in my bank account now. So uh, I'm just going to say, safe to say, wait tables guys. Um, I had a feeling it was going to turn out like this, but uh, wait tables. This is so scary. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow with the fuck doing. <laughs> Hello guys, it's the next morning and I'm all ready to go garage sailing and thrifting. Today, I just have like silver hoops in for my grandma. I'm not feeling like accessorizing on this portion of the trip. Obviously y'all will see some baller fits like in Utah and Vegas, but I'm just not feeling it this time around and I think that's fair. Um, so yeah, and then I have this 14 shirt. It's Brandy. Unfortunately, I did buy it from Brandy before I switched. Same with these pants, these are American Eagle, and I did buy them from American Eagle a long time ago. And then my white Converse, I don't know if y'all have ever seen my white Converse, but these things have been with me through thick and thin. It's a little insane. Okay, so I'm ready to go. I'm also sorry, I don't have my tripod this time around. I'm very mad at myself for forgetting that, but it's fine, I forgot a few things. But yeah, I'll see you guys. I don't know if I'm gonna film at the garage sale, I'm not gonna lie because those things make me hella nervous. So I don't want to like catch someone laughing in the background and they're like, what the fuck are you doing? But I'll definitely show you guys a haul and everything. And obviously I will film the thrifting portion. So. All right, this is good. All right. Hello everyone. Welcome to the like try on haul portion of this video. So we went garage sailing, then we went thrifting. Thrifting, I'm not gonna lie, didn't have the best luck today, but I won't lie, that thrift store is really iffy. And it's also like very location-based, like it's a lot of old people shit. So it's really hard to find like good stuff. But let's start first with, we went to Walmart. So I got a few goodies from Walmart that I wanna show y'all. So I completely forgot to pack socks for this trip somehow. That is absolutely beyond me. How do you forget to pack socks? But they had all these really cute socks on sale. So these are like, just like little stars and then i think they have like yeah like that one has polka dots moons stars my favorite things in the world and then i also really like this pack and these were like three dollars a pack and look at how cute this one has like leopard zebra oh i love it okay that's kind of random but yeah those were on clearance and were like three dollars each which i was really excited about then my grandma kept going on and on that i need like a white like bra to go under my clothes like this 
what no i don't but you know sometimes you just let people buy you stuff to ease their mind so she just got me this so i don't know what that <laughs> whatever <laughs> and then um i didn't bring any skincare on this trip either so i asked her if i could get a little mini set and she said yes so i got this bubble set and i'm really excited this is for oily skin um i don't know if my skin's oily but i think it's oily enough that this will work they had like an acne treatment kit as well that i kind of wanted to try but the gel cleanser in that was four ounces and i wanted to be able to bring this to utah so i got the one that had everything that you can bring like on a plane because we're bringing carry-ons um and then i got another set of nails these are olive and june like the best brand ever i love i've actually never tried them but i've heard that they're really good from Allie. i'll put a picture of her up here go subscribe to her i love her but yeah i've heard that these are really good i got this like pink goldfish one and i got them because my friend did these nails for me but a few of them keep popping off so i'm kind of worried that they're gonna pop off while i'm in utah so i just wanted to get like a good like i know staple set for if these do pop off i can just replace them so that was it for walmart next we have um let's do what i got at garage sales because i kind of got some good deals today guys so first i got these sunglasses for two dollars i kind of did a little signal to y'all um i really like these i've completely forgot to br bring sunglasses for the trip i swear i'm a good packer i just forgot a few things like it's okay that happens it happens. I also forgot to bring a razor, and I don't know how that's possible either. Um, and then I got Silence of the Lambs on DVD because I have a DVD collection because we have a little, like, projector in our studio. Um, and so I love having DVDs of my favorite movies, and Silence of the Lambs is one of my favorite movies. So, yeah, I got this for a dollar, and I can't remember. Did I say those were $2? I think I did. And then I got these really fun, like, ravery, like bracelets i feel like these would be so fun to stack in vegas because a lot of my clothes are like these kind of like ravery colors i'm sure as y'all know and these were 50 cents for the whole bundle are you joking and then from that same garage sale i got this really cute like just like little puka shell bracelet ankle anklet kind of thing also 50 cents so i got these for a total of a dollar this was the biggest deal i was super excited to see these like these are so like skin braver what the i don't know blah 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 and then I did get some clothing. So I got this Texas A&M hoodie from a garage sale. This was a dollar and this was just so like Rory Gilmore, Chilton, Harvard to me. I don't really know if it was really giving that, but I just, I don't know. It felt like that like perfect like lived in and like livable hoodie that I just want to be in all the time. So obviously y'all will see how that wound up fitting right there. Who knows? And then my last thing I got from a garage sale were these little American Eagle shorts. These are so cute. Y'all know I love anything American Eagle, especially when it's like this more vintage. And these were, what, like a dollar, two dollars? I think they were two dollars. These are a four though, so they might not fit. Y'all are gonna be able to see right here if they fit or not, but um, they might not fit. But I thought like for two dollars, why not just do it? Okay, so that was everything I wanted to get in garage sale. It was really fun. I didn't haggle with anyone because I'm way too nervous for that. <laughs> okay, so next let's move on to the thrift portion of the haul. Only got four pieces today, but I always feel like that's good. You know, that's good. Um, so first I got this Bizu Bizu. Wait, why do I feel like I've heard of that before? I don't know. It's just this like little basic black top. I thought it was really cute and like I love the hem and the cut of it and the straps this is just really cute and i feel like this would be a really fun basic for summer and for school who knows i don't know what if i'm still buying for school or not or for summer i'm gonna have a very different aesthetic for back to school fall i feel like my aesthetic changes like every single season i already have my aesthetic planned out for fall but i think this goes with more my summer that i'm feeling but that the hoodie i got is definitely going for more fall um okay next i got this dress this really isn't any of my aesthetics at the moment i just have a feeling it's gonna fit so well i don't know what it is like i feel like this is gonna look really really cute i think it's just like the cut or the print like i don't know and then i feel like it's just gonna be really cute and this is a dollar so like why not another thing where it's like okay who cares if it's not and this shirt by the way also a dollar like i told y'all this thrift store is cheaper than savers it's the cheapest thrift store i've like ever been to in my life which is why it's worth the digging around Okay, next I got this very skinsy, ravery top. It's just this like little, 
as you can see it has like all this kind of thing going on and i felt like this would just be really cute like off the shoulder with like my little studded belt i feel like just the cut of it in general is like a really good cut and this was also a dollar like dang diggy dang my total at this thrift store is six dollars and fifty cents so it's like i don't really care how things fit i just want to try it on and then last thing about is another dress i feel like this goes more for like what i'm going to be going for during fall if this gives any hints but it's this brown long dress and it's so pretty and i love the straps this is i think the most expensive thing i got yeah this is three dollars but like three dollars even for that price and the brand on this one is 21 i'm pretty sure that was the brand on something else too this brand for this shirt was what was it lol vintage i mean look at that that's awesome and then this shirt bizu bizu i already told you all that and then i'm pretty sure this dress was 21 yeah 21 that same brand as that other dress so yeah that's everything i got i hope this video was like semi entertaining i really just wanted to pop another one out before my utah vlog because obviously that's gonna be a while away i'm thinking i'm gonna do utah vlog vegas vlog like two separate videos so i can make two videos out of it because i feel like they're very different places and we'll have more to talk about for each thing but i think it's gonna be really fun guys and yeah i have like 330 dollars in my wallet right now which is just insane oh no credit card info for you okay i love you guys and i cannot wait to see you for my utah vlog that should be the next video you see by me but i hope you enjoyed just this kind of random little